Hey squad, welcome back. Now I'm going to show you in today's video how you can use Logic Stock Effects plugins to get your vocals from here to here. The track itself is called Actions and it's by the incredibly talented artist Aaliyah Lara. Links to her content will be in the description. You really have to check this young lady out. The track was recorded and produced by the super talented Tim Smart. His info is also in the description. Again, do make sure you check them out because they really are superb. Don't forget, if you're finding my content helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you were to like the video, subscribe to the channel and drop me a comment. You can also support me via musictechtraining.com forward slash donate. Right there, you'd find links to my Patreon, Spotify channel, as well as my crypto addresses. Okay, let's get into this. So in essence, today's video is all about my channel strip for female vocalists using stock Logic plugins. Now, although I use this for female vocalists, with a few simple modifications, you can adjust this to suit your male vocalists as well. So I'm going to start at the top, work my way through, and I'll explain to you exactly what I've used and why. I'm just going to play back the dry vocal so you can hear our starting point. I'm going to have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. I'm going to have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. Ooh, show you through my actions. Okay, so there's nothing better than starting off with a wonderful vocal. And Aaliyah definitely fits the bill. It's a joy working with her and it's a joy listening to her. So when you're working on a project such as this, all you want to do is bring out the best in that vocal recording. So at the top of my vocal channel strip, I would always have a pitch correction unit. Now, no matter how talented your vocalist is, there may well be times when the vocal needs a little bit of tuning. And that's exactly what I've done here. So imagine the audio signal comes in from the top of this channel strip. The first thing it's going to hit is my pitch correction plugin. The song is in the key of A sharp minor. So I've adjusted the response time so that it's about midway through the center point and maximum speed. I want to avoid those tuning artifacts that might come through where the plugin can be heard actually tuning the vocal. I want this to be very transparent and natural sounding wherever needed. So that's the first thing I've got going on. The next thing I've got in the channel strip is a noise gate. This is really useful depending on the circumstances under which you, you are operating. If you're working in an environment where there's a certain amount of bleed coming through the headphones or there's some level of background noise, you want to use a noise gate. This recording was very clean indeed, so I didn't actually need to use it. So I've got it disabled. All I've got so far is the pitch correction. We're bypassing the noise gate. Next thing I've got on the channel strip is my compressor. Okay, so I'm using the vintage VCA compressor before I hit the EQ. And there's a very specific reason for this. If you haven't yet watched my video on Logic Vintage Compressor Circuits, you really ought to, because that will give you some insight into why we have all of these different compressor types available to us in Logic. This one is actually modeled on the classic SSL mix bus compressor. And all I've done is gone into Logic presets, pulled out the vocal smooth preset like so, and I've switched the circuit type to vintage VCA. I want the character of this compressor to affect our signal. I haven't done anything else with the settings, but I've made sure that the soft distortion is selected. I'm not really looking for this to do any real compression, but more to add some color to the sound. So let's bypass this for a minute and then I'll bring it in and you can hear the, the, the difference. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions. 
actions, my actions, how I love you. So you can see there's hardly any gain reduction at all, apart from right at the end, the phrase how I love you, where there's a slight movement there. Besides that, it's more the circuitry that I'm interested in. Okay, and that's the reason why I've used this one. Make sure you check out the link above to find out more about the Logic Vintage Compressor Circuits. Now, the next thing in my chain is this right here, my console EQ. Now, this particular EQ is modeled on the classic Neve 1073 console EQ, which was included in the legendary Neve A88 console. Now, this is a relatively simple EQ. You've got a low cut filter here, low shelf, a high shelf, and you've got a sweepable parametric EQ right here in the center. There's some options over here where you can choose the different types of models. I'm using smooth right now. Really, really simple. If I'm working on vocals, I'll kick things off with pop vocal preset. That's a great starting point. And then tweak from there. And for this track, I've made some very subtle adjustments. And once again, another reason for using this EQ is to get the character of the console. So with the compressor, we're getting some characteristics from the SSL desk. And right here, we're getting the characteristics from the Neve desk. And it's important to me that I create a vocal that has some of the characteristics of real life analog gear. So let's listen to the vocal with the EQ bypassed and then bring it in. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. Ooh, show you through my actions. Now that's adding a lot more in terms of brightness and bringing out the body of the vocal. I will be addressing some of that top end later on, so don't worry too much about that for now. Okay, so next up is my vocal compressor. As I said before, I've used a compressor earlier, but this is the one that's actually gonna be doing the work of the compressor on this track. And I've gone for the Studio FET, which again is modeled on a classic, the Yuri 1176 Blackface, which is definitely one of the most celebrated compressors ever made. My starting point was to just go into the presets, go to voice and pull up classic vocal. From that point, I adjusted the parameters to suit my vocal. And I also added some distortion. This time I went for some hard distortion to add a bit more saturation into the signal. So let's try this bypass and then bring it in. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. Ooh, show you through my actions. Now, it's a very transparent setting. And as you can see, there was a significant amount of gain reduction in terms of controlling the dynamics of the vocal, but it was very transparent. Okay, so next up, we've got our Deesa, and this is one of the most important tools that you should really remember to use if you're finding too much sibilance in your vocals. Start with a preset that brings you close to where you want your vocal to be, and then tweak from there. So let's play the vocal back with this bypass and then we'll bring it in. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. Okay, now let's switch that on. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. Okay, so you can see how the Deesa is taming some of those S's and some of those sibilant sounds. So let's move on to the next plugin. Next up, I've got the Ensemble plugin. Now, I don't always use this, but it's always great to have it to hand. Depending on the material I'm working with, I might well switch it in. And on this occasion, I've actually brought it in. So let's bypass and then we'll switch it in. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions. Now this is a very subtle setting. We've got two LFOs that are acting on as modulators on this vocal. Now let me show you how you can find a nice simple preset for this. Create a brand new audio track and come up to settings, come down to legacy, logic, voice, 
female voice, and then female creamy lead vocal. Here's the ensemble, you bring that in, and this LVOX spread is what I've used. It's a very subtle effect, but for me, it's those small changes that add up to something quite special. So those are the key tools I use on the actual vocal channel strip, but there's still more to be added. A couple more things down here. I'm using two effects buses. On bus one, I've got the Space Designer Reverb, and on bus two, I've got a tape delay. So let's start off with the reverb. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. It's just a space designer with a vocal hall preset and I've made some very simple adjustments here to the wet setting. Nice and simple and you adjust the amount that you're sending just here. So that's bus one. Now bus two, I've got my delay. Let's bypass for a minute and have a listen. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. Okay, so I've got almost like an echo effect on there. Once the track is going, the repeats will fade right back and you hear just enough. So let's actually bring this on. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my action. You can adjust the volume of the wet signal over here, and that can be done to taste. So we've gone through the vocal channel strip, we've gone through our two effects sends. Now, down here, rather than sending this to the stereo out, I've sent it to a bus, a vocal bus, which is right here. And on the vocal bus, we've got some more plugins. So let's go through those. So at the top of the vocal bus channel strip, I've got a vintage tube EQ. Now this is modeled on two classic EQ units, the Pultec EQP1A and the MEQ5. Now both of these are valve EQs and are absolute classics. And you'd find modeling of this unit in many of the big software developers such as Waves, Universal Audio, and many others. But you've got it right here in Logic Pro X, so why look elsewhere? So I've gone for this classic EQ for two reasons. Firstly, to do the job of applying shaping to the vocal. And a great starting point is to use the tube vocal preset. Now the second reason is to add the modeled characteristics to my vocal signal. So by simply having this in the vocal chain, we're able to stripe our signal with some of the characteristics associated with these two EQs. So once again, let's play the vocal, bypassed, and then we'll switch this on and you can hear the difference. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my Okay, so we're really taking shape now. In a minute, I'm gonna go back and A-B the vocal so you can make a note of the distance traveled. So next up, I've got a stereo delay, and this adds that extra width and body to the vocals. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I I'm gonna... Really subtle, but all of these subtle additions add up to something special. Now this particular preset you can find on the female creamy lead vocal, there's a preset right there, and then you adjust to your own taste. I really do like the way this has been set up, and of course, if it sounds good and it works for you, why not use it? Now we come to one of the most elusive plugins in Logic, and that is the Exciter. And it's tucked away right down here under Specialized. So I always add an Exciter to my vocal channel strip. In fairness, my go-to Exciter is the Aphex Aural Exciter that comes with the Waves Bundle. To be honest, that device 
does some kind of wizardry that actually blows my mind. However, this one is a great substitute. And this is what it does. Let's play back the vocal. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions, how I love you. I'm gonna have to show you through my actions, my actions. It's that fairy dust that's being sprinkled on the vocal, bringing out those subtle highs that really allow the vocal to cut through the mix. And that's why I love this. There are a number of different presets that you can go with. And then of course you can adjust the, the frequency, the harmonics and the color. For this particular song, I've gone with Add Silver. So the final plugin on my vocal bus is another compressor. And once again, I've gone for the vintage VCA, which is the SSL model. However, rather than using it directly for a compressor, I'm using the limiter component to this, specifically to add some limiting to the overall vocal bus. Because once I've added all of these additional vocals into this bus, I want to make sure that I manage the overall gain. To achieve this, all you need to do is engage the limiter button over here. And I want to limit at around minus 1.2 dB. Now this unit won't allow the signal to exceed minus 1.2 dB. I could also have some soft distortion on there. So I'm gonna go without the soft distortion because I've got distortion added already through here. Again, I'm getting the characteristics of the SSL bus compressor and I'm limiting. So that's really what I'm looking for. So that's my vocal channel strip. All of these plugins are native stock Logic plugins. And many of them are modeled on exactly the same devices that you'd pay quite a lot of money for in your third party plugin packs from Waves, from Isotope and elsewhere. But the reality is much of it can be found right here. If you took your time, you'd come up with some fantastic vocal mixes. So let's play back the dry vocal and then we'll finish off with the rest of the vocals going through the, the vocal bus and we'll call it a wrap. trust in you to help me to see like you do i'm gonna have to show you through my actions my actions how i love you i'm gonna have to show you through my actions my actions how i love you Ooh, show you stuff i really do hope you found the video useful if you did drop me a line in the comment section like the video and subscribe to the channel this will really help me out now remember to support me at dospeeds.com as well as on my social media channels and finally switch on that notification bell so just like the rest of the mttc squad you'll find out as soon as my next video drops until next time i'm dr deuce peace